Hi, this is PC Roger. And I want to show you in this short video how to add VirtualBox guest additions to the particular virtual machine that you might be working with. The reason you want to add that is they're just some nice features and the primary one that I use is the fact that before you add the uh, guest box additions, you have to press like the right control key in order to exit the virtual machine and go back to your normal desktop. And then when you go back into the virtual machine, you have to click once just to kind of activate that that uh, virtual machine and it's just kind of a hassle. The other thing that's really handy is to cut and paste back and forth between your desktop and a virtual machine or between virtual machines. So first thing you have to do is install Guestbox additions and they, they're really not very clear on how to do that. So let's show you here. We're going to right click on the machine and click on settings and we're going to go down to storage if you notice, we've got the, the hard drive here, the VDI file, and here's a CD-ROM file or CD-ROM you know, drive, and it says empty. Well, if you select that and then go over here to the drop down, it says set it up. Now, because I have already, and it might be cut off by the screen, because I've already chosen this once before, VBox Guest Editions.ISO is already shown here. Otherwise, the host drive D, which is my CD drive, would be selected. I'll show you how we get this. Use the choose a, a virtual device here. I'm trying to resize the window. And you can see uh, by default, again, since I've been here before, on my local C drive under Program Files, Oracle, Virtual Box, you see vboxguesteditions.iso. Click that and select Open. And now, the next time you start up this machine, you will have that ISO file loaded as a CD drive. And when you do that, you run the file on there and install the guest box editions or the guest editions, and you'll get the features that you want. So click OK, and then we can start the machine. So now if we go in and take a look at our CD drive, you can see device with removable storage, and it says virtual box uh, guest editions. We'll double click that to open it up. And now you can see the welcome. Next. And we're just gonna click through here next. Don't need the, th the direct 3D support. I've never tried that. But we want the guest editions. And we just click next, go through here. I think we might get a warning message or two. Are you sure you wanna do this kind of thing? We do. Uh, continue anyway. And another one. And yet another one. And then you have to reboot the actual virtual machine. And I'll go ahead and reboot that now. And now it's telling us that our display settings are messed up. Um, just going to properties here. Drag that over and OK. Click yes. Now I'm going to shut down this machine. I'm going to take a look at the settings here. Now once we are done adding the guest additions, we can go back and remove that CD from the CD drive or the, the ISO, which is a you know, virtual CD. Here in the settings, go down to the storage tab and we can highlight uh, the guest additions ISO. And over here on the little CD, we can click the drop down and select remove disk from virtual drive. Now, if you inadvertently right click and select remove attachment and then confirm it, the CD drive will be gone and you won't be able to load it. And that's an easy fix. Highlight the controller, click the little plus button down here on the left, select add CD DVD device. And then here it asks if you want to choose a disc or leave empty. We'll just leave it empty. And then that's back the way you want it. And you can add one at any time in the future in the same way. And then just click OK when you're all done. Now here in the general category under the advanced tab, you can see shared clipboard is bi-directional. There's also a drag and drop, and you can do host to guest, guest host or bi-directional. Go ahead and turn that on. And next time we start it up, we can test out those features. So that's uh, really all I wanted to show you in this video because it took me a little bit of digging around to, to, to figure it out. They uh, uh, have a lot of uh, 
results in the on Google guest editions, but to actually find that file and get it mounted and run uh, was a little bit thin and, and to save you the poking around into this video. So I hope that helps out. Please uh, like the video, leave a comment, come to my website, pcroger.com. See you there. Thanks.